And we begin tonight with an issue that's familiar to Colorado, but new to the rest of the country, and that's mail-in ballots. States across the country adapt for their primaries and general election to expand vote by mail to take COVID-19 precautions. KRX 5's Adrian Thomas stands by live in the studio with more details. Adrian? Rob, every voter registered at least eight days before an election in Colorado receives a ballot in the mail. While states adapt to enhance social distancing for elections, voting in Colorado will proceed fairly normal. Yes, in-person voting will still go on with heightened social distancing and sanitizing precautions, but officials and political leaders say Colorado's system is ready for elections faced with coronavirus. Colorado started mail ballots in 2013. It's been said the state leads the country in this kind of system. Some states are scrambling to adopt similar systems amid COVID-19, something President Trump is against. We don't want them to do mail-in ballots because it's going to lead to total election fraud. Ballot drop boxes open June 8th. That's the week ballots are sent out for the June 30th primary. And the chair of the local Mesa County Republicans says he supports this established system in Colorado, despite what the president says. I fully support the mail-in system we do here. We do have a, a series of checks and balances that go on, and I have full confidence in the mail-in system. McCartney feels, though, the president is against states moving quickly to this system. I think he's addressing the, t the places they're talking about in implementing it because of the, the virus. Um, I think that's particularly, you know, California. On Tuesday, it was a historic primary in Indiana. For the first time, voters were given the opportunity to vote by mail or in person. This sets the stage for a very different general election there. Back in Colorado, the Mesa County Clerk and Recorder also emphasizes the efficiency of vote by mail in Colorado. We always have a bipartisan set of judges that from the time a ballot comes here until it's counted, tabulated, and packed away uh, and sealed, there's always a bipartisan team of a Republican and Democrat. At Mesa County Republicans, Kevin McCartney feels the Centennial State will have a smooth election no matter what. I, I'm less worried about Colorado than any other state in the union because of the way it works. Now, Colorado is set to hold a primary on June 30th for congressional and Senate races, as well as local offices. We'll post more voting information along with this story to our website, westernslopenow.com. First on the Western Slope and live in studio, Adrian Thomas, KREX 5 News.